Hi, welcome to Simple or Not Kitchen. My name is Melissa and here in Simple or Not Kitchen, we take some of those online cooking videos and we put them to the test and let you know if they're simple to follow or not. And today we are focusing on garlic, how to peel it and some yummy uses for it. I use a lot of fresh garlic in my kitchen, so today we are covering three popular hacks that claim to make the job of peeling it much easier. It can take so long to peel garlic by hand, so when I saw this little hack on Webspoon's YouTube page, I had to give it a try. This method for peeling garlic and removing the skins is called the shake method. Basically, all you do is you put your cloves of garlic in a jar, put the cover on, and shake it. The shaking gently removes the skins from the cloves. This method worked remarkably well. You do have to fine tune your shaking. You wanna shake vigorously, but not so much that you smash your garlic. But it was a really easy technique and for peeling a lot of garlic really fast, this is probably the technique that I will use again in the future. The second method is the knife twist method and it's been pretty popular on the internet. This trick supposedly works by inserting a knife into the top of the garlic clove, twisting, and then the clove is supposed to pop out without the peel. However, this trick did not work for me. I was so frustrated trying this trick that I went back to the internet and watched a few more videos on how to do it. One suggested running a knife along the base of the garlic before trying to insert the knife into the top of the clove. And so I tried this and still it did not work. So uh, if anyone out there has tried this and has successfully gotten it to work, let me know. I'd love to know how to do this trick because it looks so quick and easy. The third trick for peeling garlic really fast is the microwave method. This one really surprised me. With this one, all you do is you take a whole head of garlic and you put it in the microwave for about 25 to 30 seconds. And this method worked beautifully. The skins came away so easily from the cloves. However, the inside of that head of garlic was really hot, so if you try this method, be careful because you could burn your fingers if you're not careful. So now that we have all of this peeled garlic, what should we do with it? We can make garlic powder by taking a few of our cloves and slicing them really thin. I'm using a mandolin to do this, and then we're going to dehydrate them by leaving them in a 170 degree oven for, oh, about two to three hours. We want them nice and dry when they come out. Then using a food processor, we are going to grind them until they are the texture of a nice fine garlic powder. You could also use a spice grinder for this as well. And with a few of our cloves of garlic, we're also going to make some garlic pickles. And this is super easy. We're going to take just a few cloves of garlic, as many as you'd like, and we're going to put them in a pan with some vinegar. And then to that, we're also going to add a little bit of water and some sugar, and also a little bit of salt. And we're going to bring this mixture to a boil on top of the stove. We're going to pour everything into a container and that's it, pickled garlic. Next, we're going to make an easy and delicious garlic oil. I'm going to start with a few whole garlic cloves. Use as many as you like. And to that, we're going to add some olive oil. And that's it. There's only two ingredients to this recipe. We're going to simmer our mixture for about five minutes on top of the stove, letting our garlic get nice and brown. And then we're going to pour it into a jar. I added a little rosemary to mine as well to make it a nice, delicious rosemary garlic oil that can be used as a delicious base for a salad dressing. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching Simple or Not Kitchen. For more recipes, articles, and video, go online to pinellcentral.com.